Hi, welcome to the video of GeoForce installation. In this video, I will show you the step-by-step -step explanation of GeoForce installation on Windows. Come on, let's begin. At first, you need to install XAMPP or BAMP in order to install the GeoForce CRM on Windows. Next, download the GeoForce package from source page. Unzip the downloaded package on your document root directory. Here I installed XAMPP. To unzip my downloaded package, open the XAMPP file. By default, your XAMPP file will be located in the C directory. You may also relocate it. Click on htdocs on your XAMPP file. Extract the downloaded GeoForce. Dot 3.1 zip file on the htdocs folder. Now open the XAMPP control panel. Click start on the corresponding Apache and MySQL. Wait until the number of PIDs and port will appear. That is, the status of Apache and MySQL to turn green. Then minimize the control panel screen. Don't forget to run the XAMPP control panel. Without that, you can't install the GeoForce CRM. Before moving into the installation process, you need to get the prior file permission to access the GeoForce CRM. Let us see how to get the file permission on Windows. For that, we should know which files need file permission in GeoForce CRM. These are the files that need to get permission. To get file permission, open the htdoc folder of your XAMPP file and click on GeoForce.3.1. Right click on the above mentioned files one by one and select properties. Here I select the file catchy. On the Properties tab, click on Security. Click System in the Group or Username section. Here the full control is on Active. If this is inactive, click on Edit and enable the full control. On clicking on full control, you will add permission to read, write, execute and modify. Finally, click on apply and then OK. This is how we add file permission in Windows manually. Now open your browser and search for localhost slash GeoForce.3.1 It will lead to the GeoForce setup wizard. If you are new to GeoForce, click on I agree and continue. Now the file permission check window will be displayed. Here the file permission check widget is the mandatory field and the other two widgets PHP configuration and recommended PHP settings are optional. Let me see them one by one. First we go for file permission check. Once you get the file permission to all the required files, it shows file permission is ok. Otherwise, it displays the file that doesn't get the prior file permission. The next is the PHP configuration. Here the PHP version is mandatory. The PHP version should be 7.2 to 7.4. The CRM supports only these versions of PHP. If you don't have this version, please install or upgrade your PHP version and come back to the installation. The other settings are optional. That is, it doesn't disturb your installation process. 
though if you use any extensions you need to fulfill the system requirements to work with the extension for example if you want to use the air mail then you need to satisfy the condition of imap support the next is the recommended php settings it displays the error log settings and this field is also optional then click on next It will display the installation settings window. Here you need to fill that fill in three fields. Now click on the database information. Here you can easily create a database in this setting itself by selecting create a new database from the drop down of actions. Next you need to provide a host name as local host. Provide the database name as per your wish. And remain that the database name should not contain any spaces. Fill in the username and password of your MySQL which was set up while installing XAMPP. Now move to the system information. Here you need to select the required currency name from the drop down. The final one is the admin user information. By default, the username is set as admin and the last name as administrator. We have to set up the password and retype it to confirm the password. Fill in the first name and your email ID. Set the date format and time zone. Once done, click on next. It will show the SQL error if your SQL mode is not set as global. If this error appears, go to the browser and search for localhost slash php myadmin. Here, click on the SQL icon. Enter the SQL command set space global space SQL underscore more equal to double quote semicolon and click on go. If you fail to run this command, then it shows the SQL error when you move into the confirm installation page. Then come back to the installation. Now click on the back button. You need to fill in all the information from the first. Click on database information. Provide the host name, database name and all the information as before. Then click on system information and select the currency. Now move to the admin user information. Enter all the required information. And click on next. It will move to the confirm installation page. Here it shows the term which will reveal that Zoforce doesn't collect any of your personal data or your CRM customer's data. The information collected will be used for business purposes only. Tick the checkbox and click on install. The CRM starts the installation. And that's it, you have successfully installed the Joe Force CRM. Happy Joe Force journey.